Hey, what's up to all my gang members out there? It's your boy. And today I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about this Twitter account slash website called This Person Does Not Exist. This Person Does Not Exist. And I'll show you some of these images. You've probably seen this, and this has been around for a little while, but here's some faces, right? Look at these faces. Look at these people. These are just normal people, right? Look at that guy. And then you find out, whoops, no. These are computer-generated faces. And what I don't like about it is that these AI people that it's creating are coming for American jobs, and I don't like that. Because it took me a while to figure out how this works. It was very confusing at first, so I'm going to explain it to you in dumb, dumb language. But to me, the funniest thing about this is this. So an AI creates this face, right? But the thing is, the backgrounds are, they're still working out the backgrounds. They got the faces perfect. I mean, look at this. Looks like a real guy. He looks like, what is that guy, Peter Skarsgård or something? He looks kind of like that dude. But look at this, look at this ghoul in the background. Like, what in God's name, what in God's sweet name, in the name of everything holy, is that absolute trash ghoul, that absolute demon from from i would say the absolute bottom of hell what is that that's disgusting and if you follow this twitter account again it's called this person does not exist if you follow this twitter account <laughs> the only thing that people talk about or comment on for these uploads to this twitter account these images is when there's a ghoul like that like one person puts work on your background skills bot <laughs> I like that they're being rude. They treat it like a customer service person or something. Get get those background skills better, bot. Somebody just says demon. Finally, I miss the demons. Best demon yet. <laughs> People love the demons. It's like the only re this amazing technology, which I'll describe how it works in dumb, dumb terms in a second. But this amazing technology that creates perfect human faces out of nothing. All people care about <laughs> is these John Carpenter creatures, these absolute just garbage monsters, these toxic Avengers. That's what people love most about this. So I really wanted to know, how does it make those faces so realistic? That's like my dumb, dumb, dumb brain is like, how? How does that happen? And a lot of the documentation and videos that people made explaining this, I was just like, I can't understand this. Can you please explain better? Can you please stop explaining it in a way that just makes it more confusing? And I kind of figured it out, and here's how it works. Here's how just a random-ass computer is making super realistic faces. And basically, you have two things. You have a, ge a quote-unquote generator, and all this means it's just like, shooting ran random data. It's just like if you looked at the images that it's creating, they're just nonsense. So it's just shooting a bunch of data nonsense. And it's shooting them into this thing called a discriminator. And a discriminator is like it's it's checking this stuff and it's like, is this good or bad? And the other thing that you're putting into the discriminator is you're teaching it what real photos of people look like. So you're giving it a bunch of real photos of people. And the more photos of people you give it, the more it'll like understand what photos of people look like. So you have all these photos of people. And then the, the random ass generator, this little random ass generator right here, it starts having to conform to those images. So instead of just shooting random data, it has to be like, oh, I have to pass this test of this discriminator after it's seen all these pictures of real people. I need to start making this random ass nonsense data look like those photos of real people. And if it doesn't, it's not going to pass the test of the discriminator and it's not going to shoot out realistic ass images. That's basically it. It's all about this thing called the, the discriminator, which is just computer code, which just looks, at, just trains itself, basically, looks at a bunch of images and then starts turning the random ass generated stream of consciousness nonsense into things that look like real photos of people based on what it's seen. And that's it. And what's interesting about this is that you can do it with anything. You could show it a bunch of pictures of rats 
or a bunch of pictures of cars or a bunch of pictures of sandwiches and it'll start generating things that conform to what a sandwich or a rat or a car looks like. It's pretty cool. And the thing is, you can do it yourself. You can make your own. You just get a bunch of pictures. Let's say you wanted to do one of, you know, cats. You just get a bunch of pictures of cats, put it into the, the you know, real photos training part of the discriminator, and it'll start randomly generating cats. Also, if you go to the website for this thing, I'll put a link in it. It does randomly generated art, too. Paintings. Here, I'll refresh. These are all created by computer. Code. It also does cats. Look at that fool. Ooh. These are all fake cats. This can't be right. Some, this can't be right. He's got to be real. These must be real. These can't be computer cats. It does one for horses too, but look at this horse. All fucked up. Look at this. What the f What? Ew! But what seems to be going on is that its backgrounds are super complicated. So it'll pass the test of that discriminator because it'll see a bunch of faces and it'll be like, yeah, that's a face. The discriminator will say, yeah, that's a face. Shoot it out. That's good. It passes the test. But it won't really get the background. <laughs> So it'll let pass ghouls and goblins, and also it'll let pass just like weird, surreal, nonsense backgrounds like this. Like, look at this. This looks like a real girl, but good God, look at this background. What in, what in God's name is going on back there? It's actually kind of cool. I kind of love it, the, the backgrounds that it creates. It's just like a mix of a bunch of random data that it kind of has learned from various backgrounds that it just kind of mushes together to create like these surreal look at that what is that yeah like the ai is not being forced to conform to anything really strictly with the background so look at this you get these weird dreamscape backgrounds it's crazy also i don't think it's its job to get logos and stuff right it hasn't it you know it's not trained to do that so you'll see stuff like this on hats <laughs> which is kind of kind of cool too actually. And again, this is everybody's favorite thing from this account is the mistakes <laughs> the mistakes that these AI make. Also, I don't think it understands hats either. Hats are all f***ed up on this thing. Look at that hat. That's all f***ed up. Hats and hair all f***ed up. Look at that. Yuck. Okay, so on to the truly important part of this video the most important part the whole point but first i want to say you can create these like you can create your own they're called gans uh generative adversarial networks you can create your own and it can be for cats or dogs or potatoes or hats or whatever you can do somebody did it for anime creatures anime women which is of course that's the one thing the the internet would do with it um but you can create your own what i want to do since everybody loves the mutants so much, <laughs> I want to just take all of these creepy background mutants and put them into the, this GAN code. And so it can only create disgusting, barf-inducing mutants. No, None of these humans, none of these good-looking regular humans, only toxic mutants. Toxic, disgusting puke creatures. Oh my god, I'm going to get so many follows on, on Twitter from this. But anyway, if you want to learn more, go to w.com. No, I'm just kidding. I'll put, I'll put a link in the uh, description where you can learn more about these GANs. But that's pretty much it. Like, honestly, not to uh, brag, but I think my description was actually the most simple. So, there you go. You're welcome. But I'll do a follow-up vi follow video. If this is too complicated or takes too much time, I'm not doing it. But if I can figure it out... I'll create a ghoul generator and I'll let you know in another video.